fun ritual you can do if you're a beginner is making basically a, a jar, like a container type. Oh. Container type work against the target. Uh, super affordable. So you're just getting a jar. Okay. Now on this jar, I have, whoops, it's quite active. Now this is, this is a type, I'm not going to share what this sigil is, but it's a sigil that I've created. And uh, uh, this demon, this hexing or cursing, a relationship destructor style of demon for a curse on someone. Plus with the sigil of Lucifer, I'm sitting my jar or container on top of that. Okay. Now it's very, very easy to do. And you probably can't see in that really well. But in this jar, there's a couple of little things going on. Firstly, and this is to curse uh, a couple. I've got two little voodoo dolls in there that I've created. I have the petition in there as well. And also, of course, there's lots of toxic little things like, you know, black pepper, um, chilies, urine, bent nails, iron, <laughs> rust. And what else? What other herbs I've got? Uh, mandrake, mullen, hemlock, wormwood, and rose thorns. And uh, each um, Tuesday, what I'll do is I'll, under the energy of Mars, is on a black candle, I'll inscribe, and I just use little chime candles, if you don't know what they are. Here's a little black chime candle, as you can see, it's quite uh, short, uh, which is perfect for basic spell work. You don't want to be getting something huge like taper candles or um, any other size candle really for spell work that you need to really focus and meditate on unless it's really, really upset you and you want to spend hours and hours um, doing a spell. I know I don't have that level of time. So it's best just to get a little chime candle. You can inscribe the couple's name on each side of the candle. Um, you can dress it with some toxic oil if you want. Uh, normally I'll, I'll use um, doom oil on this. Um, when you light a candle, of course, you know, I've done this a lot for this particular spell, but I'll just sit it on top of this, of the jar, and then I will just meditate on the intention. I actually have a little incantation that I will say. You make up your own incantation. Um, and then uh, I will do this every single Tuesday because some type of curses or hexes such as the breaking up of a couple or the breaking down of a narcissist isn't going to happen generally overnight. You want to lay a foundation and keep layering onto that foundation in order for something like this to be successful. Um, I was saying to a client actually today that when it comes to breakup work, the first part of a breakup is to get the couple to fall out of love with each other. And then secondly, you want the couple to start to have feelings of disgust for each other. You have to realize when you have a feeling of disgust, that's a feeling that you can't overcome really easily. And from that, um, the relationship starts to go into arguing or um, dishonesty or all these other issues that perhaps a relationship has to go through before the physical action of moving out actually occurs. Okay, so that would sit up there, up on my uh, on a cursing altar of mine, and, and so be it. Now, Marcy, the other level of cursing and hexing type of spells really, for, for me, involves a lot of other style of spells and rituals, which just may be something that you're not comfortable with right now. So if you actually physically do some of this work, you're going to be able to feel like you have a little bit of ownership over you know, your own self-control. And once you do this spell, what I suggest that you do is just leave it. If you're going to trust in magic, you have to trust that magic really works and otherwise just don't do it at all and just allow the spiritual world to start to look after you. I just went and picked a few things from my shelf that uh, may help you, Marcy, because you're worrying about the karma 
And people that generally worry about the karma really need some form of cleansing after they do uh, hexing or cursing style work. So with that being said, um, just something really simple you can do. Um, spiritual soaps are really good. Like if you just need something basic, you can throw one of these. This is a white sage soap. Okay. Or maybe this is some Florida water. These are really simple to throw in the bathroom. Everyone in the family is going to use that and that's going to have a nice little spiritual cleanse without looking too witchy, okay? Um, taking it a step up, if you really want to do something yourself after doing a spell like this, maybe you want to white, uh, light just a little white candle and cleanse your space. The idea of lighting a white candle is that you're removing any energy from that space that isn't there to serve you um, with a positive purpose. So from if there's residue from this doom candle, you don't want that hate energy around you, perhaps. So you light the white candle and you're saying, I remove any negativity from my space, from myself, from my family, from my pet, from my yard, whatever you want to do and just allow. And uh, once again, if you're lighting a candle, this as soon as you light a candle, it's a magical spell. It's a magical object and you should see it through to completion or put it on an altar space where you have some level of spirit working to help see that through to completion. So allow that white candle to burn while you're meditating or thinking about all of that energy dispersing. Um, secondly, if you wanted to do something else, while that white candle is burning, you jump in, take a spiritual bath. This is something like hyssop bath oil. Um, there's lots of different types of spiritual baths that you could use, but this is a really nice one. Um, it's got, basically they have a psalm on that. I'm not going to read the damn psalm, but basically you pour um, about a few caps full into some water, like a little bowl, and you can um, spread it over yourself or wash yourself with that. As you're doing that, what you're doing is visualizing all the negativity, leave you, leave your aura, leave your body and goes down the sink, goes down the drain. In old conjure ways, of course, you'd take that and you would throw it out the door. Um, there's many other ways what you can do with it. But essentially, I, I like spiritual showers because you're done with it, okay? <laughs> you're not doing magic all the time. You just need something to do for this situation. Just, just be done with it. It goes down the drain and so be it. And then for you, you pat yourself dry, put clean clothes on and don't think about what you've done. The purpose of magic is you just do it and you don't think about it. You don't wonder, oh, I wonder if that spell worked or probably didn't work. Or da, da, da. People get so in their headspace about it. Believe in magic and just uh, allow it to be done. And then give it some time. Maybe quickly something will happen. Maybe you see this person have a series of unfortunate events, but if you feel any negativity towards that, then you really shouldn't have done it in the first place. You're not ready to hex or curse. Anyways, I think I've answered that question for you. And um, just to anyone else writing in about this type of issue, hexing or cursing, please also say in your emails, what level of magic you're comfortable in practicing. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.